What's good, YouTube? It's Gabriel. Just another fan TV. Back after another video. Hey, if y'all like the content of my videos, give it a thumbs up. If y'all like the content of the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Just pass it to them subscribers not too long ago. Thank you guys. I uh, keep running it up. So look, I want to talk about the Ravens' uh, stance on preseason. Has it changed? Has it been updated? Okay. Now I saw a report a couple days ago uh, from a Jeff Sweebeck article in the Athletic saying that J.K. Dobbins is unlikely to play in the preseason. Um, and may even start the season on the pup list, right? Now, I made a video about J.K. Dobbins a couple of days ago talking about, you know, his recovery, things like that, how will he be ready for week one. Pretty much saying that I would rather see him ready, you know, week six, four, six, whatever, we had to come to that, than play week one and not be ready and have a Ronnie Stanley type of um, incident where he played too early and he wasn't ready and ended up losing Ronnie Stanley for the whole season last year, right? That wasn't good, okay? Now, um, about preseason in, in particular. J.K. Dobbins obviously got hurt in preseason. Will the Ravens change their stance on preseason and playing their starters? Now, the Ravens are a team that believe in playing their starters at least somewhat in the preseason. Me personally, I, I like to bring up the Rams sometimes because I like the way the Rams do business. But this is one of those instances where I really like the way the Rams do business. Okay, Sean McVay does not play his guys in preseason. Like, none of his starters touch the field. Not for a quarter, not for a play, not a snap. They won the Super Bowl last year, okay? My correlation is playing your starters in the preseason for quote-unquote rhythm and timing is fictional. It doesn't matter, all right? Let the guys who are trying to fight for their, their, their NFL careers, their roster spot, guys who want to make an impression on the coaching staff, let those guys go out there and play preseason games because, honestly, they need to. They're, they're fighting for their NFL careers. They're fighting for their livelihood. They're fighting for that next paycheck. Let those guys go out there and play the games, all right? Now, and this is not just because J.K. Diamonds got hurt, but it's definitely more of an emphasis because a guy like J.K. Diamonds got hurt. I always thought that playing your stars in the preseason, it doesn't matter. It's a fictional thing, right? So when so when you see a guy like Sean McVay and the Rams do it, not saying they're the only team, but they're just a team that I know 400% doesn't play their stars in the preseason at all. When you see that kind of team do it, then you see that kind of team have continued success over and over and over. And then, obviously, last year winning the Super Bowl, you realize that there's playing your starters in preseason to get live reps against opponents that's coming after you, all that nonsense. doesn't matter. It, 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 it's, it's trivial, okay? Um, because every play on the football field is a risk. Now, you don't want to go out there thinking about, oh, man, I, gotta, I can't get hurt out here because then you end up probably getting hurt because you're playing it too safe. You know, things like that. So take that out out the equation 100% and just say, look, uh, backups, this piece that belongs to you. You guys got three weeks, three games, because, you know, obviously 17 games now in the season. So preseason is only three weeks. You guys got three weeks, three games to make an impression on our coaching staff and show why you need to be on this Ravens team at the end of the 53-man roster or why you need to be on this team um, practice squad. Okay, but Lamar Jackson, J.K. Dobbins, Rashad Bateman, Mark Andrews, the list goes on and on and on. Defensive guys, Odafi Owe, Mark, well, Mark Pease won't, won't be probably won't be ready by that time. But you get the point, Marlon Humphrey. I don't need to see them on the field on defense to know that they'll be ready for the regular season. I don't need to see them. Let them go out there week one, ball out, and let's just start from here. Okay, week one regular season, I mean. Let's start from there. Um, I probably can look it up, see what other teams do it. I'm sure the Rams are not the only team that does it. But like I said, they're the team that comes to mind when I think of they don't play their guys in preseason. They don't even risk it. And that's what it is. It's an unnecessary risk. Now, there was a clip last year. I'm sure you guys watched the Ravens Wired because they're really good. You can see it behind the, behind the scenes kind of look at the Ravens. Uh, it's their own mic'd up kind of, especially when they do it for the games, right? Now they did it for that for that week three preseason game last year in Washington, and John Harbaugh was distraught um, after what happened to J.K. Dobbins. So I I think personally that was John Harbaugh. You can have your qualms with him and might not like him this and that, but he is a guy who learned. He is a guy that adapts eventually. Okay, so maybe J.K. Dobbins' injury was the kind of wake up call to say, all right, look, we don't need to be doing this. 
Um, we know our guys are talented. Let's just go out there week one, ball out. Preseason, let's not even mess around with it. So I'm hoping that's the way to I'm hoping that's the direction the Ravens go. Now I brought this video up because like I said, I saw the article about JK Dobbs unlikely to play in preseason. I hope that's for the Ravens starters in general that they're unlikely to play in the preseason. I hope that's for the all the starters in general. Let the younger guys and let the guys who are trying to make their way onto this team, let those guys play preseason games. Please let those guys play. All right? Look, this is your boy Gabriel. Just another fan TV. I'm out.